Hey everybody, this is Cedric from 3D Bandit and welcome to this exciting Christmas tutorial where I will show you how to make Christmas balls to hang in your trees, to hang on your walls, to hang anywhere you want. Ho ho ho! <laughs> so, I'm uh, gonna show you this really easy trick to make different kinds of Christmas balls um, and to really have some interesting effects. Uh, so, I have a basic ball here, a basic Christmas ball, in a basic uh, HDRI environment, nothing too shabby. And um, I'm going to start off by putting in a glossy, and I'm going to colorize it glossy. And uh, yeah, that's already looking like a Christmas ball. <laughs> but we're gonna, of course going to change some st uh, stuff to make this uh, look even more interesting. So now I'm going to put in a diffuse BSDF uh, and I'm going to put them in a mix shader. Now, and now I'm going to do something a little bit um, shabby, which I'm sure a lot of people will yell at me for. Um, I'm going to bring in a layer weight note and I'm going to bring in a RGB curves. Uh, and I'm going to change the curves so that it looks something like this. Okay. And I'm going to bring in this into the factor. And this looks very interesting. This looks very cool. Right? So, why not use a glossy, like traditional? Uh, why not use, uh, like, reflections? Because I think it looks nicer like this. It gives an even, like, it gives a bit more... Yeah, even distribution. Uh and it looks yeah, cool. It even looks good on if you have no uh if you have no roughness or a lot of roughness. It looks good. So, how to make this uh into an even shabbier Christmas ball? I'm going to select all of these notes. I'm going to press Ctrl G to group them. And uh all I need from this group is the color of the glossy and the roughness. And uh, if we go back out here again, we have a note group. Uh, and we're going to call this Christmas Ball. Okay. And now that we have this group, we can really play with it. Um, so we can change this color. We can change the roughness. Um, yeah, so it fits our uh, desire. So how can you make this even more interesting because uh, having evenly colored um, Christmas balls is kind of boring and if Christmas is anything, it's not boring. So I'm going to bring in a texture, a wave texture. And this is just one way you can do it. You can use your own textures um, or you can even fiddle around with multiple textures. But I'm going to also bring in a color ramp and I'm going to put this to constant because I don't want any faded edges. I'm going to put this in the middle. And I'm going to uh, add in an, another Christmas ball, um, like this. Or I can just duplicate this one, it uh, doesn't really matter. Um, and I'm going to alt right click with the uh, uh, Note Wrangler add-on. <laughs> I'm going to bring in a mix shader, and I'm going to bring in the color of this color ramp into the factor. And now I'm getting something really nice. Uh, I can even differentiate between the, the, the roughnesses to make this even more appealing. It looks really cool. Uh, you can go even further with this if I duplicate this color ramp and also put the waves in this. And I put in a color, mix RGB and put it to subtract. Uh, put both colors in here. Um, factor to one. And I'm going to put this one a little bit more to the uh, to the left, I'm sorry. And then I get these small edges. Um, oh, I hit them. Okay. Um, and then I'm bringing in another mix shader. Bring this in here. Bring this shader in here. I'm going to copy this again. Now if I change, for instance, this one. I'm going to make this a little bit thicker. You can see we get a nice little edge around this, which makes it even more pretty. So if I bring in the glossy, yeah, now you can really see it. Um, you can make this thicker, you can play around with it. Yeah, I like this. This this looks nice. Maybe make this glossiness and this a little bit less. And then you really start to getting very fancy um, Christmas balls. So yeah, this looks 
Very cool. Let me just make this maybe red. Oh, yeah, that's also cool. Yeah, you can you really play around with it and see what you come up with. Uh, let me make this green. Oh, no, that's not beautiful. And this white. Uh, hmm. Yeah, this starts looking like something, I guess. Hmm. Well, yeah. It's up to you. Uh, what you do with it. Um, uh, can you maybe put in some distortion? Oh, this looks, this looks more like a jungle Christmas ball than a normal one. But uh, you can also put in like multiple wave textures, maybe make some uh, funky patterns, uh, bring in your own textures, unwrap the Christmas ball, and play around with these groups to really get some interesting results. Um, and yeah, that's, that's really it. Yeah, this looks fine. This looks nice, a little bit pinkish. Yeah, this looks very beautiful. A little bit thicker. Yeah, look at this. This is a beautiful Christmas ball. Uh, maybe even change rotation a bit. Oh, oh look at this. Yeah, this looks beautiful. And you have a beautiful Christmas ball. So you can play around with uh, how, you, uh, how you like. Uh, yeah, and make some beautiful Christmas trees and all. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this small Christmas tutorial. Maybe I'll make more. Um, really depends. Uh, I'm busy. Uh, I, I started my own company, which is great, which is awesome. And uh, hey, yeah, we reached 2,000 subscribers on the channel, which I want to thank you guys for. Me and Dave are very grateful. Maybe we make, uh, we'll make a video about it. Um, you're gonna see more of us, guys. Um, the uh, game engine tutorials have been receiving a lot of positive feedback, so thank you for that. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And also Merry Christmas. <laughs> Yay!